All right, this video is to show you how to set up uh, tags in a Studio 5000 program for your control logics. Uh, this is video number two. If you watch the first one, we set up the backplane and all of the components in our backplane. Now we're going to create some tags. So we're going to go here to controller tags. Uh, left click and then right click new tag and the first type of tag we're going to set up is a base tag now a base tag is inside the processor only it's not in the real world so the one that we're going to set up here I have to give it a name uh, I'm gonna call it latch um, and it is a base tag. Like Again, this is not in the real world. Uh, we're going to set up, uh, make sure that it is set on base. Uh, and it is going to be a bool. So you can select it from over here. Or you can just start typing it. And it will find it. And this is bool. A bool is one. A dent is a double integer. It's basically, it's two words. We only need to use one bit. So I've created that. And I just need to create. I'm going to open my controller tags. And you can see that it is right here. Now, in the last video, we set up an input card. And we set up an output card. And you can see these right here. And since we set up our input card in slot number one, the local one I is associated with my uh, input card. And we put our output card in slot two. So local two O is our output. So we just created a base tag, which is this one right here. If I want to look at it or do anything to it, I can edit it right here. It is called latch. It is called, it is a base type tag. It is a bool. It is in processor 01 is our scope. And now I'm going to set up an alias tag. So again, left click, then right click. So some things that are very common in about every program that you're ever gonna see. We have a start. And usually a start button is a real world device. It's something that somebody can walk up and press. So this would be an alias. So start is alias for what? Well, it depends where you wired it to. And we said that uh, our input card is in slot one. So that's this one right here. Local one, I for input, data. And where did we wire it to on that card? Well, I'm gonna go with zero. Uh, just so we start out using all of our numbers. I don't jump around. I like to use my numbers in order if possible. Uh, and it, you'll see that it put it in as a bool. And I'm going to create. And there it is right there. Now I'm going to create another new tag. Something that's pretty common in everything that you do is a stop. And stop will be alias for, uh, and let me point this out. This is a dent right now. It is alias, stop is alias for local one, I data number one. Now, when you're talking local, that means that it's in that chassis. This is uh, this input uh, is 
in this chassis. All right. And I'm going to create, and you'll see that it came up right there. There's zero and there's one. Uh, now let's make another tag. This time we're going to do it to the outputs. And let's call it green light. Green light, and this is going to be a real world device, some type of a light out there. If you turn on something, you might want an indicator light to tell you that it's on. So this is going to be alias for local to output. We click on that plus sign. Local to output data. Hit the drop down. Zero. And create. And you'll see it just popped up right there. Uh, another thing that you might see in a machine. Is a red light. Red light is alias for local to output data one. And that means that I would be wiring it to the uh, off of the output number one on my uh, 1756 OB16D output card. Create. So that shows you how to make a few tags. There's other ways of doing it. Um, that's the way that I like to do it. Um, but you can actually create tags right in your program. Um, so this video uh, has shown you how to create different types of tags. We made a base tag. We made several uh, alias tags. And there will be later videos to show you how to make produced and consumed tags. So stay tuned and we will uh, continue making videos uh, concerning the Control Logix PLC and Logic Designer Studio 5000. Thank you.